Hey guys, uh, welcome back to another video. Today we are gonna be drawing, and yeah, I'm just gonna be like, you know, uh, I'll be drawing like arms and like legs and stuff, stuff like that. So let's just hop into it. Alright. So right now I'm gonna be drawing an arm. So we want to start with a circle. And then bring it out, bring it out, make a where that elbow is going to go, bring it out, and then wrist. Alright, next, I, what, so the arm is going to be uh, facing uh, this way, so that means the bicep is going to go up here, triceps down here, and then so forth, and then like that. So. Let's first make the deltoid or shoulder right here, just like that. And then bring this down just like, kind of like that. And then for the for the bicep, since the arm straight, it's not gonna be like really big. It's just gonna like just gonna come out and then be like kind of a curved line like that. And so for the bicep, we just kind of bring this down. It doesn't have to be perfect, but we gotta bring this down. Kind of same thing like the uh, bicep. You just gotta curve the line, and then if you want, you can make make it sh uh, make it that it's like divided like that. Like for the forearm, can't remember the name, scientific name of the muscle. You just gotta make it down and then bring up like that. Same thing on this side. Like that. And then we could do this. Like that. So and if you want it in simpler terms, I would suggest like, so like if we break it down into like, it's like simple shapes, it would just be a circle. Uh, I guess a oval. And then two triangles. Connected. Like, Like that, and then like a whatever it's called, a rectangle with a circle. So yeah, that's pretty much what it is. But I just put in more detail. I'm not gonna draw hands. There we go. And so, if you want to draw the muscle big, don't like make it like bigger, like right here, like because about right here. And right here are the thinnest points, so you would actually want to make it bigger in the middle, about right there. Here, so, and then I'm going to be drawing a flexing one. So, there we go. Like that. The base. I want to start out with the hand. Just make a box. Like that. Deltoid. Same thing, and then we're gonna bring this up a little bit, and then kind of bring it way up. Just stop right there, cause we gotta make the forearm. You can bring this down, and then curve it in like that. Same thing, this down, curve it for the. And we can do this. All right, for the bicep, just bring this down. Curve it, and when it hits like this, uh, the elbow type area, we're just gonna bring this down, and then make make it like a square ish type shape. Like that. So this goes up, and then just curves down. 
like that. All right, so in this sense, uh, I put up a poll and you guys wanted to vote for art. That's why I'm doing art. And I also said in the comments that I was gonna talk about my myself. So one thing about me is my real name is Jix, except it's spelled with the S. So yeah, that's my real name. All right, next, let's move on to legs. So, so after I finish the legs, I'll tell you my real age. So we're gonna start out with a circle, like always. Make the knee, turn it down, make the heel. All right, let's make it. Dividing line, the show, whatever it's called, I can't remember. I can't remember the names. The hips, no, not the hips, uh, the that part, whatever. All right, so we're gonna start right here. So if you want like uh, a character that has like thick thighs, you just have to bring this out. From right here, you just do a straight line and then you curve it in, kind of like that. So and then for right here, you just bring that out. It's just a straight line. That's how you get a. That's how. That's the way you draw a thick line. For the calves, you just want to draw a circle. If you want, you could draw another circle right there. Just gonna bring these down, and then kind of go over them and connect it to the heel, like that. So that's how you would probably draw a thick tied one, but uh, here's how you could draw a muscular one. I, again, it's just uh, if you you could go smaller on this, like you could just make it a normal normal tied one. This would probably be a little bit lower, like that. So you could do that, you can make it wider or thinner, yeah, but like over here, actually I'll just work on this leg because it's already done. So if you want to make a muscular leg, you got to find the center point, which is about right here. You just like make a line that's curved that goes all the way down close to the knee and then the knee area. You want to bring this up, down for the knee muscle, like that. And then there's a muscle right here. And do that. And then if you want it to blend together a bit more, just erase some of the lines. For this one, just bring this down, curve it in, and then like that. There we go. And then for shading, if you want to like make it noticeable, do like half the, the area. Like that. Kind of like that. So maybe, maybe not this part, but, but like something like that. All right, so for the back of it, which I'll be working on for this one, make the kneecap a bit longer. All right, so same premise. So this is gonna be the back of the leg. This up a bit more, like that. And again, connect them like that. 
right? So you just want to just outline it a bit more to show that the muscle group of it right there of the calves. Then you could do that for the back of the leg. And then finally, for this, it's just kind of going to flip on this side. So it's going to be pretty much the exact same. Like that. Same thing on the other side, just like that. And again, you could just... Something like that. So that's how you could draw it. The heel for the back foot, you could just make a little circle and then bring this out and then do that for the foot. Or you could just keep the heel like that and then on both sides, you could just like that to show it's facing that way. For this one, you could just well, you could do heel, bring this out, up, so it's heel, down, side, up, like that, there you go, we got back side of this, like that, and yeah, one, if you have like a stubby arm, oh yeah, since we got done with both legs, my real age, is I am 15 old yep that's my real age all right another way you could probably draw this is going down so have a shorter elbow that point that would probably be the the shoulder so this is like facing down just deltoid would go like that and curve into the body like that if you want to do the tricep you'll be able to see the tricep where it's really muscular just out and then in to connect it to that circle for the bicep just go out straight down kind of like a balloon then you would want to actually connect it with that like that all right for the forearm just go up and straight down this ain't really good because yeah just imagine the thing is like right there Same thing on the other side. There's a muscle right about here on it that you could go more in depth on. And another one kind of right there. There's also one on this side too. Because there's two muscles connecting it, the forearm. So, shading on this, you could just shade right there. Same thing. There. Just fit right there, like that, no, right there too. So, yep, there's that. So, I know I didn't really teach you much, yeah, but for this, it's just like a circle, an oval, and then two triangles leading down to a rectangle, then another circle for the legs would be a circle, a big cylinder, uh, like slanted in cylinder, connected by another uh, circle, and then a smaller cylinder, like that, and then the heel would be a circle. I guess you could just do the exact same thing, but with an arm. But yeah, so other than that, before I leave, one thing, one more thing about me is my birthday. 
is October. Don't know how to spell October 7th. October 30th. And I was born in 2007. So yeah. Hope, hope you liked it. And uh, I'll see you guys later.